How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Icarus up in his piece in the form of their double dry hopped drinking crayons. Yes, this is a 7.9% alcohol by volume Imperial India Pale Ale with nectar round hops. This comes courtesy of my boy, Mike. Thank you very much, brother. Um, as far as what they call out on a can here, it says heavily weeded in Odin Northeast style Imperial India Pale Ale, hopped with Eldorado, Amarillo, and Columbus, then copiously dry hopped with Azaka, Amarillo, Columbus, and Lupulum Mosaic, then double dry hopped with Nectaron hops. So, I, I, I guess it's the last thing you put in there hop wise, I guess is what the beer is. That's kind of crazy. That many hops in the called a Nectaron hopped beer. It's a little bit far reach wise, but. We'll allow it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Icarus. I dig their beers. Been to the brewery several times. I've interviewed Jason uh, for the podcast um, uh, before. And, uh, you know, once COVID kind of clears out and my kiddo is old enough to, to, to just exist outside of our little bubble here. I will be visiting. Uh, label wise, it's actually cool. I really dig this label. The drippy crown thing just works for me. Uh, beer wise. That's Doc. This is, at the time of drinking, less than one month old. It uh, has this rich orange core to it. Um, <sighs> gives me oxidation vibes, especially when you look at that head and how quick it dissipated. But we'll see what's what we'll reserve judgment for nose and taste. But that's kind of how you how it views from a distance. A little bit of category Araki edges on it. And like I said, that nose is pretty much non-existent at this point. Um, but when it is there, khaki colored, maybe? good nose. I mean, there's definitely hops in this sucker, I'll tell you that. There's a, there's, there's a, a decent amount of hops, but they're all kind of muddled together. There's like a, uh, I would say a stone fruit, tropical fruit thing is really the big portion of the show here, but nothing's overly sweet, nothing's overly aggressive, nothing's over the top. It really just has this kind of hop presence. I know that's kind of a cop out, but that's probably the best way I can describe it, because it's not super fruity sweet like juiciness but it's neither like a weedy dankiness or or a piney resinous any of that stuff it's kind of just floating there in the middle of a not sweet but not bittering beer not a bad nose but not a crazy nose let's put it that way let's dive in cheers okay makes up for it in the taste of it. It skews quite a bit sweeter than I thought it was going to be based off of the nose. And quite a bit more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to come off very neutral, closer to like an a impact of what I would expect from a 5% beer as opposed to what is essentially an 8% beer. That tropical fruit portion of the show is definitely what I'm getting here. It's a bit of an under-ripened kind of cantaloupe melony, mango -y kind of thing going on. But I actually like it. Um, there's a little bit of fluttering green behind it. Nothing too crazy, but that little kind of, if you've ever kind of just, if you ever like crushed like a sack, an empty sack of, of hot pellets, and you get that little burst of air that comes out of it, and you just get this kind of fluttering kind of keefy green thing kind of floating around. That's the way the kind of hops come off on this, but nothing overly aggressive. There's a little bit of lingering bitterness on it. Nothing too crazy. I don't know if I like this beer or not. It's not a bad beer. I dig it. It's probably one of the better, I shouldn't say better hazies that I've had from um, from Icarus. One of the more, again, I wouldn't even use the word aggressive. I like it. I dig it. It's not going to be Mount Rushmore status. Let's put it that way. But I like it. And based off the look of, based off of the nose, I wasn't sure I was going to dig on it. It's not too bad. Yeah. Mouth feels a little lacking. But the impact is there for its ABV level. Fun beer. Fun beer. Let's put it that way. I pick up a four pack of this. I'm not like pissed or anything like that. I'm like, this is pretty tasty stuff. I'll probably share a can or two. Spread the wealth. Done and done. Is this one of the better double IPAs? I would call it a double IPA. It's 7.9% that I've had as of late. Damn, sure. It's not Mount Rushmore size. So I'm up there, but I think it's tasty. I think it's fun. Um, I just didn't want that mouthfeel kind of bumped up. Maybe hash out a little bit more of that kind of hop graininess uh, to kind of go with that fruitiness and this, um, the tropical fruit portion of the show there in the beer, but fun nonetheless. Value and availability, no idea. Mike, let me know what's what. Icarus, I'm guessing this is probably 18 bucks four pack and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like tropical fruit, forward hazies, 
that have a bit of bittering, you know, and you're not like a like an all out like take it or leave it mouthfeel kind of guy, or gal, or something in between, or whatever you choose to be. This is your beer. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little bit of yeah, Icarus right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>